11 less evil facts about Hitler. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, literally, uh, top of the description, follow the Twitch. Guys, tell them to follow the Twitch right now. This is about to be a bop. Let's, let's do it. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Oh, is this gonna be animated also? Hitler wanted to be a painter. Okay, I know that one though. We all Before know that his one. rise to power in Germany, Hitler was an artist oh. trying to sell paintings and postcards to earn himself a living. He applied to be accepted by the Vienna Art Academy, but on the admissions exam, he was told his work was lacking emotions and empathy for the human wah, figures. Wah. Surely no pun intended there by the admissions board. Hitler became very frustrated after replying. Wait, oh wait, they said that like he was lacking like emotion and empathy. Okay, I guess that does make a lot of sense. Why does he look kind of cute? He low key does, bro. He low key look a little cute, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I mean, never mind. And being rejected a second time. An event that probably in later life did <laughs> not contribute anything sleep? good to Hitler's overall chill factor. After the war, the few remaining art pieces of Hitler sold for relatively large amounts of money. Oh. He could have exploited these late artistic successes, was it not for World War II and a bullet to the head? Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Hitler was a binge watcher. Did he watch One Piece? This brutal dictator was an absolute film buff, especially in the evening, making him a super binge-watcher mensch. There were many Hollywood films that he liked, King Kong, oh. Snow White, or oh. Snow Aryan White in his mind, <laughs> and on top of that, he was also a great fan of Laurel and Hardy. If you still believe that is not weird enough, consider he was also a fan of Disney's Mickey Mouse. Wasn't Walt Disney an anti like a known anti-Semite or something? Or this is what you don't want you to know. I guess after a hard day of work, coordinating the destruction of Europe and some occasional mass murder in between, nothing beats a good jolly mouse to keep the spirits up. This resulted with Hitler organizing his own cinema nights with his guests, binge-watching all the way into the late night hours. Oh. Wait, was this like during the war? Like, were they doing this crap during the war or is this like... I mean, it looks like it because he's got all of his, like, generals by him. Oh, that's good. Wait, why they got Hitler song? is often considered to be the first national leader to advocate non-smoking. Being a heavy smoker in his... I mean, he was smoking a lot of Jews, but okay, I'm sorry. But, like, he was, though. For someone that was pretty anti-smoking, you know, he sure put a, you know... Sure use a lot of that. You sure use a lot of smokes, bro. Isn't that true though? Early life, around 40 to 45 cigarettes a day, irony joke, he realized the Aryan super race could not be associated with smoking. So, Hitler made sure this a nationwide non-smoking campaign was set in place to keep the German people from smoking. That is so Un ironic. Like, he used smoke and gases for like, it's, it's just, it's, it's funny. It's Understandably, funny. you do not want to be called a Nazi, only for people to think you are a smoker. That would be awkward. They even went as far as to construct separate non-smoking rooms in their bomb shelters. What a luxury to have. Your own non-smoking bomb shelter, while the city above you is turned into one big ashtray. Priorities. There you go. Yeah, they, they said it. There it is. Hitler supports animal welfare. Uh, what, this guy cared about animals more than the Jews, bruh. That's crazy. This Another goofy, unexpected bro. trait on our list is animal welfare. Hitler took a variety of measures to ensure animals were well protected. His own dog Blondie was loved and cuddled by his own, with Hitler having Blondie in his bed in the Führer bunker. Very sweet, but not sweet enough to be an episode on the Dog Whisperer. To enforce better living conditions for animals, the Nazi regime made an effort to seriously restrict the hunting on animals. Oh, they also God. went as far as to send people who mistreated animals to concentration camps. <laughs> that is the biggest irony. That's like the funniest. That, that is hilarious. I'm sorry. If you mistreat animals, he sends you to a concentration camp, bro. That is crazy. This was during a time where they were even specifying guidelines on how to properly transport animals. A sentence that is very hard to process considering other events unfolding during that time. Hitler likes his sweets. Hitler liked his cakes, <laughs> eclairs, and many other creamy desserts all day long. His cook made these personalized treats, decorated with swastikas, and why not? On some days, he could eat as much as one kilogram yo, of- Yo, did you, did you see that whole thing like, yo. Chocolate pralines. I guess a diet combining sweets and prescription drugs are not going to do you a lot of good in the long run. Yeah. Nevertheless, Hitler claimed for me, sweets are the best food for the nerves. What if he actually died of like diabetes all along and they were lying about like his, you know, about like the bullet? Considering how the war was eventually going, it's not weird to see how he ended up eating so much of that. Oh. 
During the closing stages of the war, with the Fuhrer trapped in his underground bunker complex, one of the last things he ate before committing suicide on April the 30th, 1945, was a cake for the nerves. I thought it was a gun to the mouth. Huh? One testicle, is that what that says? The River Kwai March was a popular British war song, with one song variant having lyrics describing the missing, deformed and undersized testicles of the top Nazi leaders. At this point, it is safe to say that marketing the whole idea of an Aryan super race outside of Germany's borders is going to be challenging if people are singing songs about your battered ball sacks. It's a shame Britain's Got Talent was not around during that time. It would have brought us some awesome extra auditions to look at. In recent years, a medical report from Hitler's doctor confirms the rumors that the Führer was fighting a war on two fronts with just one testicle. Nah! It's confirmed, guys. The lore is accurate. Bro had one testicle. That's crazy, bro. Yo, guys, in the chat, how many testicles do y'all have? Smash like, subscribe. Hitler was vegan? Of course, he didn't like animal cruelty, obviously. Hitler claimed to eat healthy, but never mentioned all the sweets he ate. In hindsight, this should not really be the thing to judge him for. Near the end of his life, Hitler followed a more vegetarian diet, including a lot of greens oh, like carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, and a lot of peas. Guys, nothing is worse than the mass extermination of cows. You know what I'm saying, guys? Rest in peace, all the cows. Albert Speer noted, at the dinner table, Hitler mentioned gruesome suffering and slaughter of animals trying to dissuade his colleagues from eating meat. Again, it is hard to ignore the irony here, with Hitler lecturing That's people nice. about moral standards well basically on any subject whatsoever. This animation is amazing. He farted like a horse. That is such a random fact, bro. Why do I need it? Der Führer, meaning leader, was known also as Der Furzer, meaning farter, what? because of his uncontrollable gases. This is not true, bro. Hitler's personal doctor, Theodore Wait, 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 wait. Because of his uncontrollable gases, bro? Is that what, is that, is that literally, that, that terminology, bro? Uncontrollable gases, guys. I mean, I guess there are many uncontrollable gases going on. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Well, provided the Führer Furza hey! with medicines hey! to counter these hey! problems. Hey! 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 Hitler's hey! vigorous speeches might have been less impressive if every other sentence was interrupted by a gassy melody. Although Hitler complimented his own doctor for the treatments, multiple counterclaims were made on the pills he was getting. And after many years, the farting was still there, combined with many new we're, we're not live that old. problems. Yeah. The worst employer or not. For all the criticism Hitler what? took over the years, it is hard to say anything good about the man without raising eyebrows. But to be fair, in a few cases Hitler was outmatched in evilness by one certain individual. To be a general serving under Hitler's command was actually a better position to be in than being a general serving Stalin. You might be guessing where this is going. Yep, if you what fucked up with Stalin breathing down your neck, you could be pretty sure to end up in a ditch with a skull looking like a bowling ball. In contrast, Hitler mostly just sacked his generals for being dumbasses, uh, not executing them in mass numbers just to make a point. Well, However, look how, guys, look how merciful and nice Hitler is. But it did not make him employer of the month just yet. Ah, oh, poor guy. His nephew joined the US Navy. That's low-key interesting. It is safe to say that taking over the world was not a family-run business entirely. His own nephew, William Patrick Hitler, was serving in the United States Navy from 1944 to 1947. If you think that is not awkward enough, before he fled to the US, he blackmailed his uncle for years by threatening to leak embarrassing family stories to the press. When he suspected a trap was set up for him, Yo, he fled wait, 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 what, was, what was that, bro? Let me... What is that, bro? What is this? What is this? ...was set up for him, he fled Germany and eventually obtained... Yo, Yo uh, bro, no, that's crazy, bro. There's literally fleeing, fleeing Germany and there's a bunch of Jews with the stars on. That's so crazy, bro. He's fleeing Germany with the Jews, bro. That is diabolical, bro. Nah. They didn't wear the stars like armbands. I think they wore it like on their chest. I'm nitpicking. Oh, this is US crazy. citizenship and joined the Navy. Oh, oh, and included gay people. Okay. After the it's war, William also. changed his name, William Patrick Hitler, to William Stuart Houston. Although it would have been more fitting to change it to that William who fucked with Hitler. Hey, yo, does anybody here know a Houston? Who here knows a Houston, bro? We gotta get him. Okay, last fact. He fixes sex dolls. What? 
Oh yeah, did he invent sex hmm. dolls or something? Around? There are multiple theories that the introduction of the sex doll has its roots going back to the Nazi era. Around. According to some, it was the Führer himself who invented the use of sex dolls for his frontline troops, so they were less likely to contract non-Aryan <laughs> transmittable diseases on their own. You know. With many German troops deployed in France, the biggest threat to the German Wehrmacht was not frontline action, but streets filled with prostitutes swinging legs around their men, turning every French town or city into one big French STD fest. This was unacceptable to Hitler, who came up with the idea to design special sex dolls, all with blue eyes and blonde hair. Difficult to swap your doll with your friends, though, if you prefer something else from time to time. Yes, life was hard for a German soldier stationed in France in 1941. In the end, the dolls were not a very big success, Aww. mostly because of the embarrassment soldiers had with carrying the dolls around. That is crazy. To which, duh, how weird is that? Seeing a German Wehrmacht soldier gearing up his Mauser, hand grenades, MG ammunition, and finally, his inflatable sex doll. Very superior master race kind of stuff. Eventually, the factory where these dolls were made was also targeted and bombed by the RAF, destroying the entire building and taking the lives of over 200 innocent inflatables. That is Haram, bro. That low key, yeah. You know what? Go support his Patreon. This is a good video, bro. Shout out, who is it? Mitzi Studio, bro. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to follow the Twitch so you can be a part of future streams like this. Enjoy the Discord server so you can give me some videos I should react to on stream. And while you're here, you should watch this. I put so much effort into this, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, smash like, subscribe. Goodbye.